what is the hacking stereotype? What do a lot of people think about when they think about hacking? When a lot of people think about hacking, they think about cracking or any sort of um, illegal use of code. But to the Hackathon community, this is something that we're trying to redefine to building projects together and creating new ideas. Welcome to Soul Hacks, everyone. Um, we're excited that y'all here. We're a club on Cal Poly's campus that hosts hackathons every quarter. Um, and our goal is to join the developer community within Slow and to enhance the hacker community in this area. Before I came to Cal Poly, I was deciding between a couple of different colleges, um, but Cal Poly was the one college that didn't have a prominent national hackathon. And I figured that if I came to Cal Poly, I'd be able to either make a difference or be a part of the difference. Let's all break into groups, and then we'll have mentors and organizers come around and see what ideas y'all are interested in. Were you naturally good at coding when you first tried it in high school? Oh, I was definitely not naturally good at coding. Um, and it took a lot of time to start understanding code from a different perspective. During hackathons, I was able to start building real things and seeing how that applies to actual real products. Hi, just cutting in here, but are you all doing AI? Or just random group? Okay. Oof, okay. Uh, this mixture is super important because a lot of people come to hackathons without teams, sometimes without skills or with an idea, but without a team. So it's really important for us to help them get the resources they need, and sometimes those resources are people. Is there anybody that's doing AI here? Kind of? Okay, you want to join the group? Cool, carry on. <laughs> This point in the hackathon tends to be a little bit more tiring when everyone's running off of very little sleep and just trying to make sure that they get their projects done. Um, but it's always really exciting to see things starting to come together from like different teammates as well. So they give their top five yeah. from first, second, third, fourth, fifth, yep, exactly. and then we just talk about So yeah. for the past two years, I've been the lead director of Slow Hacks, and that means that I oversee the entire organizing team of Slow Hacks. She's either really chill or she's very strict. Um, and I feel like that balance, I guess, is what keeps us going. She really wants attendees to excel and just make good products. Um, so we have five different teams, and they range from design to sponsorship to marketing. And I work with the directors of each team to make sure that they hit goals and that they're able to push out quality content. I really like seeing people at the very end of a hackathon demoing the products to the different judges that we have. The most surprising piece of technology I saw this weekend was a microwave that they made automatic through Amazon Alexa. Alexa, ask microwave to unlock. Unlock microwave. Um, it's also really inspiring when they come in without a team and they end up meeting new people and new friends and building a product together with them. How about let's have don't just go down the list and just say like a one sentence thing of what the app does um, and what it was built in and what made it interesting. In addition to being involved with hackathons at Cal Poly, I coach hackathons through a company called Major League Hacking and I do a lot of hackathon participating, um, mostly internationally now. My favorite product that I've built at a hackathon is called Zalexa, which I built at a hackathon in the Vatican City. The goal was to make it easier for dyslexics to train themselves to read better. Um, so we used Microsoft's HoloLens with a lot of their computer vision packages and put everything together to make um, the reading experience a lot more digestible for people with dyslexia. Okay, cool. I think we're, we're good here. My end goal for my career is probably to do something within the C-level executive suite, so maybe something um, along the lines of CEO or CTO. But after graduation, I either want to do um, conventional software engineering or do developer evangelism. I would really like Slow Hacks to become a really prominent hackathon organization within California and that it's able to like, positively affect a lot of students around California and around the world. Selena has had many sleepless nights putting together this event. So can we please get a round of applause for Selena here? This event would absolutely not have happened without Selena making it all happen.